This video basically deals with the modeling of the reinforced concrete beam uh, with the pre-stress tendon uh, in the, where we will discuss about the profile of the tendon, its properties and its effect on the overall behavior of the beam for example the shear force, bending moment and axial force and uh, this is our example beam. Uh, the length of the beam will be 30 feet its uh, total depth will be uh, 30 inches and its width will be 18 inches the profile can be as per this diagram for example uh, at one end it is 8 inches above the neutral axis and uh, on the other side it is 3 inches above the neutral axis uh, a single span beam uh, the loading is uh, dead load which is 2.2 kip per feet and live load is 1.6 kip per feet uh, we may or may not will stick to this uh, tendon profile but the other parameters will remain the same so let's start with the, a new model uh, and uh, here uh, you can uh, switch between feet and inches right uh, select the beam option the number of spans will be one the total length as you re recall was 30 feet now uh, in the section properties just click this plus button and uh, add new property where uh, select the concrete if it is not already selected or highlighted and select this rectangular here uh, you can rename this section if you want uh, the in the material section click this plus button and uh, select the add new materials quick right here select the concrete option and in concrete op option select this uh, 6000 psi concrete okay uh, so we have added successfully a new material of concrete with 6000 psi uh, we have to add another material uh, which is the tendon right because it is a pre-stress example there are two options available grade 250 and grade 270 grade 270 is okay I have selected OK and now these are the two added materials uh, for just uh, verification click the 6000 PSI highlight it and select the modify uh, button uh, in the kip fit you will see that the unit weight is uh, 0.15 uh, uh, kip per cubic feet right and uh, uh, you can also check other properties for example the uh, modulus of elasticity is uh, 4400 almost and the poisons ratio and the uh, compressive strength so i will click ok and i will click ok twice here i will select the 6000 psi material the depth if you recall was 30 inches and the width was 18 inches right the reinforcement is beam type and uh, select ok so i have added a frame section one and it is highlighted over here so click ok and close this 3d view uh, window uh, because this one is enough for us if you want to see these uh, uh, coordinates uh, it's up to you but uh, i don't want to see the axis okay uh, now uh, just uh, uh, go to the load patterns and define two new load patterns for example the one is live load pattern and uh, select the type live and add new load pattern right the self weight multiplier will be zero for this and the other one is the pre-stress so i have added another load pattern its type is other and click add new load pattern and select ok right so we have added two new load patterns now uh, we have to uh, draw the profile the profile of the tendon so select this option draw frame cable tendon and make sure that the tendon is highlighted here and uh, click on the first support and then click on the second support and this window will appear in this window you just uh, uh, select this uh, or click this button which is called uh, parabolic calculator right and in this parabolic calculator make sure that uh, in the uh, here in this box it is one the third uh, number of spans is one and click this quick start so this is your uh, proposed uh, tendon profile you can uh, switch uh, uh, you can change it uh, for example as per the detail for example here at the first point it is eight inches above the 
uh, neutral axis so you can make it like this way for example here you can uh, s s s uh, type 8 and uh, your uh, your distance will be 8 inches right if you refresh it you see the distance is decreased and on at the far end it was 3 inches so just click 3 and when you click the refresh so see it is as per our uh, example but uh, it is up to you uh, your design requirements or the uh, uh, the one with the uh, you have in your drawings just to verify that so you can make it uh, uh, you can play with this uh, uh, we called it uh, as a e right uh, because this is the uh, distance of the force uh, from the neutral axis so it is basically causing the bending moment at that section so eccentricity is uh, the what you can play with it uh, uh, in this window right okay so just click uh, make sure that this use calculated results for this tendon is checked and click done now uh, come to uh, to the right side where there is a tendon loads and click this add button and uh, just select the pre-stress option from the load pattern and make sure that load type is force and type 200 uh, after excluding all the uh, you know the losses you just type 200 because the tendon was of uh, 270 uh, capacity but uh, we are uh, assuming that uh, 200 after all the losses uh, is what applied so uh, make all the losses to zero because uh, you have um, uh, as assumed all the losses as well or uh, conversely you can uh, calculate all these uh, losses and you can incorporate into this okay so uh, for the simplicity i have just uh, used uh, or adopted this method i have clicked okay uh, i am done with these things uh, if you want to check the details uh, for example the uh, object type or the coordinate systems or the groups etc you can play with these things right so just uh, refresh this plot see he here is the centricity is 8 inches here the centricity is 3 inches and at the middle it is minus 12 inches means it is below the neutral axis so click the ok button and uh, we are done with the, this standard profile okay so see here the eccentricity is 8 inches and here the eccentricity is 3 inches now uh, you are done with defining your tendon and uh, go to define menu and select the load combinations and add new combo here uh, dead load with the scale factor of 1 I have added it now select the live load with the scale factor of 1 add it and select the pre-stress load with the scale factor of 1 and add it and all these three loads with the one scale factor are added under the combo 1 ok so I have defined this load combination now I have to apply the loading to this beam so select the beam and uh, once it is ready it will uh, uh, it will tell you that ok select the beam ok I have selected the beam and I have go to the assign frame loads and distribute it and uh, please make sure that the units are kept fit because if you remember the load was in 2.2 keep per fit right the dead load so the dead load is selected here and I will type 2.2 a keep perfect for this case okay and I will click ok and make sure it is force not moment so the dead load is applied I will again select this beam and uh, go to the same option frame distributed and now select the live load and uh, also the units to be kept fit and uh, uh, not to replace but add to the existing load and select 1.6 right and click ok button so when you click the ok button both the loads are applied now we are left with only one thing and that is uh, about the uh, uh, what you uh, what you say uh, let me take you this is direct it's about the output stations that how much uh, precision you want for example the minimum number of stations selected is 9 if you want to make the bending moment and shear force diagram more even and more beautiful just make it uh, greater for example I will make it 25 ok so now uh, you just go to the analyze set analysis options select 2d 
ok and now go to the uh, run analysis make the model uh, run or do not run and just run it it will ask you to save it and uh, after save after you save it uh, just run the analysis and uh, you will see the results so it is taking some time i will save it by the name of let's say 5 and uh, when it is saved so this is what you have got okay you can just simply uh, go to this uh, show forces stresses and here uh, you can uh, let me sh take you to the frames and cables right so because of this combination where all the forces were incorporated so you just click ok and this is your bending moment diagram uh, you can click uh, right click on the beam and you can check for this different things as well for example uh, uh, for dead load this is your uh, uh, applied load this is your shear force diagram this is your bending moment diagram and this is your deflected shape right or the elastic curve the same is for the live load see but when you uh, go to the pre-stress so it is opposite to the uh, original one this is the shear force diagram the bending moment diagram is upward and the deflected shape or the elastic curve is also upward and this one is for the combination of uh, applied load and the pre-stressing now if you uh, go to the axial force so you can see that the applied axial force is only due to the pre-stressing for example if you select the dead there is nothing no there is no axial force there is no torsion there if you select the life there is no axial force right but when you select the pre-stress there is a constant axial force and it is the same for example it is the same value uh, which we applied uh, uh, which was 200 kips right so minus 199.981 kips is applied to this beam which is the pre-stressing force so uh, that's how you can make uh, and you can uh, play with these things and uh, you can also uh, display the results if you go to the display option and you can uh, select this show tables here you can select different options what you want for example and click ok and it will give you different tables and when you select for example the tendon loads so in the background you can see the tendon is blinking that this tendon has uh, this this type of uh, results the applied load is 200 which we also uh, cross checked and uh, i hope that you people have uh, learned how to uh, model the pre-stress concrete beam and uh, please let me know if you need further help or uh, any other details in this uh, video or in this topic thank you very much